BioWare is a Canadian video game developer based in Edmonton, Alberta. It was founded in May 1995 by newly graduated medical doctors Ray Muzyka and Greg Zeschuk, alongside Trent Oster, Brent Oster, Marcel Zeschuk and Augustin Yip. As of 2007, the company is owned by American publisher Electronic Arts. BioWare specializes in role-playing video games, and achieved recognition for developing highly praised and successful licensed franchises, Baldur's Gate, Neverwinter Nights, and Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. They proceeded to make several other successful games based on original intellectual property, Jade Empire, the Mass Effect series, and the Dragon Age series. In 2011, BioWare launched their first massively multiplayer online role-playing game, Star Wars – The Old Republic. History Foundation BioWare was established on the 22nd of May 1995 by Ray Muzyka and Greg Zeschuk, alongside Trent Oster, his brother Brent, Zeschuk's cousin Marcel, and Augustin Yip. Of the founding team, Muzyka and Greg Zeschuk had recently graduated from medical school at the University of Alberta and had a background in programming for use in school. Together with Yip, they had created a medical simulation program. The three also played video games for recreation, eventually deciding to develop their own. Their success in the medical field provided them with the funding they needed to launch a video game company. To make their first game, they pooled their resources, which resulted in capital of $100,000. 1990s, Shattered Steel and Baldur's Gate Their first game, Shattered Steel, began its life as a proof-of-concept demo, similar to the MechWarrior games. This demo was submitted to ten publishers, seven of whom returned to the company with an offer. A publishing deal for Shattered Steel was eventually signed with Interplay Entertainment. Brent Oster and Trent Oster left BioWare at that time to form Pyrotech Studios, which continued developing Shattered Steel but broke up a year later, with Trent returning to BioWare to finish the game. BioWare's first game was released the following year. Shattered Steel's release was described by IGN as a modest success with decent sales. Two noteworthy points were the deformable terrain player weapon damage caused craters in the environment and zone damage well-placed gunfire could shoot mounted weapons off enemies. A sequel to Shattered Steel was planned for 1998 but never realized. BioWare's founders and staff were keenly interested in both computerized and pen and paper variants of role playing games. Their next development project, therefore, was determined to be a role playing game. When Interplay financed exploratory development, BioWare presented the publishers with a demo called Battleground Infinity. Interplay suggested that the demonstrated gameplay engine would be well suited to the Dungeons and Dragons license which it had acquired from Strategic Simulations. Accordingly, Infinity was reworked in line with the Dungeons and Dragons ruleset. This resulted in Baldur's Gate, which witnessed a development cycle of three years. During this time, the three doctors continued to practice medicine. However, in the final years of the project, the demands of development prompted Muzyka and Zeshuk to leave medicine and move into full time development. Augustin Yip decided to continue with his medical practice. Baldur's Gate sold more than 2 million copies after its release, nearly matching the sales of Diablo. 
Following the success of Baldur's Gate, the Infinity Engine was used for the game's Planescape, Torment and the Icewind Dale series. The success of Baldur's Gate was followed by an expansion pack for the game, Tales of the Sword Coast. 2000s, Air Acquisition, Mass Effect and Dragon Age At this point, BioWare decided to return to the action genre. The company's initial thought was to develop a sequel to Shattered Steel, but eventually a sequel to MDK from Shiny Entertainment was chosen for development. MDK2 was released on PC, Dreamcast, and eventually PlayStation 2, offering BioWare their first taste of developing games for consoles. MDK2 drew the same level of praise as its predecessor but, despite the success, BioWare returned to the Baldur's Gate series for their next project, Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of AMN was released in 2000, two years after the release of Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate 2 sold 2 million copies, matching the sales of the first game in the series. However, the success of both Baldur's Gate 2 and MDK 2 was not enough to stabilize Interplay financially, who eventually went bankrupt. Following Interplay's bankruptcy, BioWare began to work with Infogrames, which was later renamed to Atari. Neverwinter Nights was originally to be published by Interplay, but the company lost the license of the game to Atari and part of their Dungeons and Dragons license to BioWare. After selling their D&D license to Atari, BioWare developed Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic and Jade Empire. It had publishing relationships with Interplay Entertainment, Infogrames and, under its new name Atari, LucasArts, and Microsoft. The next few years saw a number of changes in BioWare's corporate status. In November 2005, it was announced that BioWare and Pandemic Studios itself founded by former Activision employees would be joining forces, with private equity fund Elevation Partners investing in the partnership. On the 11th of October 2007, however, it was announced that this new partnership organized as VG Holding Corp. had been bought by Electronic Arts. BioWare therefore became a unit of AIR, but retained its own branding. In 2007, BioWare released the science fiction role-playing game Mass Effect. The following year, BioWare released Sonic Chronicles, The Dark Brotherhood on the Nintendo DS, its first title for a handheld game console. Later, Ayer announced that BioWare would be merged with Mythic Entertainment, another division of Ayer, so that they could have all of their role-playing game development in one business unit. The growth of the MMORPG group as part of Electronic Arts in 2008 has resulted in three additional studios being added to the BioWare group outside BioWare's original home base in Edmonton. The first, located in Austin, Texas, and headed by industry veterans Gordon Walton and Richard Vogel, was created to work on the Star Wars, the Old Republic MMORPG project. Both the studio and the project were announced on 13 March 2006. On 2 March 2009, BioWare announced it had opened a new studio in Montreal, Quebec, to assist with existing projects as necessary. In 2009 Mythic Entertainment, based in Fairfax, Virginia, became part of the RPG, MMO group, later being renamed BioWare Mythic in early 2010. On 24 June 2009, Electronic Arts announced a restructuring of their role-playing and massively multiplayer online games development into a new group that included both Mythic Entertainment and BioWare. Ray Muzika, co-founder and general manager of BioWare, was appointed the group general manager of this newly formed BioWare group. 
BioWare's other co-founder, Greg Zeshuk, became the group creative officer for the new MMORPG studio group. Rob Denton stepped up as general manager of Mythic, reporting to Muzika, and later became the group operations officer of the new group. BioWare's studios remained unchanged and continued to report to Muzika. Near the end of 2009, BioWare released the acclaimed fantasy role-playing game Dragon Age – Origins. Topic. 2010s, Muzika and Zeshuk's departure, Mass Effect on hiatus, Anthem In January 2010, BioWare released the sequel to Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2, which would go on to receive critical acclaim and more than 60 awards. The company announced that it would be opening up a new customer service office in Galway, Ireland, in 2011. BioWare completed three major games between 2011 and 2012. The massively multiplayer online role-playing game MMORPG Star Wars – The Old Republic is based on BioWare's previous contribution to the Star Wars franchise, and was announced on 21 October 2008, although BioWare had first mentioned an unspecified new collaboration with LucasArts in October the previous year. The other games were Dragon Age 2, the sequel to Dragon Age, Origins, and Mass Effect 3. Following the release of Mass Effect 3 in March 2012, numerous players complained about its endings failing to fulfill the developers' earlier promises regarding the conclusion of the trilogy. In response to these criticisms, BioWare announced on 5 April that they would reschedule their post-release content production and release an extended cut DLC that would expand the original endings and address the most common points of critique. The extended cut was released as a free download on 26 June 2012. In the aftermath of the controversy, Forbes contributor Eric Kane wrote that it may end up being a healthy one for the industry, opening a new chapter in gamer, developer, publisher relations, calling BioWare and EA's decision to act on the fans' complaints a remarkable choice that made gamers realize that they are entitled, and that it isn't a bad thing, to quality games." On 18 September 2012, the next day after the official announcement of the third Dragon Age title, both Ray Muzika and Greg Zeshuk, two of the remaining co-founders of BioWare, simultaneously announced they would be retiring from the gaming industry. After almost a year without a formal head, Ayer appointed Matthew Bromberg the group general manager of the BioWare label on 9 September 2013. Former CEO and president of Major League Gaming, Bromberg worked as the general manager of BioWare Austin since 2012. After his promotion, Jeff Hickman took over as the general manager in Austin. Aaron Flynn remains in charge of BioWare Canada, Edmonton and Montreal, and John Van Kangum, the head of Victory Games and Waston Studio, also parts of the BioWare label. After acquiring and dismantling LucasArts, the Walt Disney Company announced in May 2013 that Electronic Arts will produce future Star Wars games. In addition to the BioWare team, which is already developing for the Star Wars franchise. In November 2013, teaser images from the next installment of the Mass Effect series have been released. At E3 2014, BioWare Edmonton announced working on a new unnamed original intellectual property in addition to continuing their established series. Another new IP, titled Shadow Realms is an episodic 4 vs. 1 story-driven online action role-playing game, and was announced on Gamescom 2014. 
On 9 February 2015, BioWare Austin announced that development on Shadow Realms would not continue. Casey Hudson, the creator of the Mass Effect series, left BioWare in May 2014, while Drew Carpetian, writer of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, returned in 2015. Dragon Age's writer David Guider left BioWare in January 2016. Chris Wynn and Chris Schlerf, both of whom had an important role in the development of Mass Effect, Andromeda, left in December 2015 and February 2016 respectively. Alexis Kennedy, co-founder of Fail Better Games and the creative director of Dragon Age, The Last Court, joined Bioware as its first ever guest writer in September 2016. On 13 September 2016, AIA announced the formation of AIA Worldwide Studios, which would consist of the BioWare Studios, AIA Mobile, and Maxis, and led by the DICE co-founder Patrick Soderlund. At the same time, Samantha Ryan, head of AIA Mobile and Maxis, was appointed the new head of the BioWare Studios Aaron Flynn remained in charge of BioWare Canada. Released in March 2017, Andromeda was at the center of controversy of equal proportions, if not higher than that around the third chapter, starting with heavy criticisms that were addressed before the video game was released to the lukewarm response received by the specialized press and the fandom with sales lower than the previous Mass Effect chapters. Given the circumstances Electronic Arts has reportedly frozen the entire Mass Effect series, downgrading the BioWare Montreal branch from a leading development team to a support team, and later merging it into AIA Motive altogether, during EA's AIA Play pre-E3 press conference on 10 June 2017, BioWare revealed Anthem, a new action role-playing game, with BioWare's story writer, Drew Carpeche who previously worked on Mass Effect and Mass Effect 2, contributing to the new game. In July 2017, Aaron Flynn, general manager of BioWare, announced that he would depart from the company. Casey Hudson, who left the company in 2014, returned to BioWare as its new general manager. Lead story developer for Jade Empire and Dragon Age creative director Mike Laidlaw announced his departure from BioWare in October 2017 after 14 years with the company. James Olin, the lead designer of the Baldur's Gate series, Neverwinter Nights, Knights of the Old Republic, Jade Empire, and Dragon Age, Origins, as well as the game director of the Old Republic MMO, left the studio after 22 years in July 2018. Topic technology Between 1998 and 2011, BioWare developed a number of in-house video game engines to serve as technical basis for their games. Some of these engines were then licensed to other companies to develop their own games. Others came with modding toolkits, allowing the fan community to implement original adventures using the technology of BioWare's games. BioWare created the Infinity Engine to use it as a core component for development of 2D role-playing video games based on Dungeons & Dragons, the Baldur's Gate series 1998 the engine was also used by Black Isle Studios to create the critically acclaimed Planescape, Torment 1999, and the Icewind Dale series 2000 The Aurora engine was the successor to the Infinity engine, featuring full 3D environments, real-time lighting and shadows, and surround sound. BioWare used the Aurora engine to produce their 2002 Neverwinter Nights, as well as two expansion packs. The game included the so-called Aurora Toolset, a collection of tools allowing users to create their own digital adventure modules to be played either in single-player or in online multiplayer. 
The toolset enjoyed great popularity among the modding community, with over a thousand fan-made modules produced in it within half a year after the release. Obsidian Entertainment successor to Black Isle Studios used an updated version of BioWare's Aurora, titled Electron Engine, to produce Neverwinter Nights 2 2006 and its three expansion packs 2007 to 2009. Like the original, the Electron toolset was released with the game. The Polish studio CD Projekt Red used the Aurora engine to develop The Witcher, the 2007 video game adaptation of the Polish fantasy novel series, although the rendering module was rewritten from scratch. BioWare used an updated version of the Aurora, titled The Odyssey Engine, to produce Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic in 2003 and their first original intellectual property role-playing game Jade Empire in 2005. The Odyssey Engine was the first BioWare engine to allow developing for video game consoles, with both Knights of the Old Republic and Jade Empire originally released for the Xbox before being ported to the PC platform. Obsidian Entertainment used the Odyssey engine to develop Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords 2004, a sequel to the original Knights of the Old Republic. BioWare maintained limited oversight on Obsidian's development of the Sith Lords, as well as Neverwinter Nights 2. The Eclipse Engine, also known as the Lysium Engine, succeeded the Odyssey Engine and, among other things, supported PHYSX hardware acceleration. It was used to produce Dragon Age Origins 2009 and its expansion pack 2010. Like Neverwinter Nights, Origins was released with a toolset to allow the players to run their own adventure modules on the Eclipse engine. An upgraded version of the Eclipse engine, internally known as the Lysium engine, was used to produce Dragon Age 2 2011. .In 2013, AIA confirmed that all future games developed by BioWare will be made on AIA DICE's Frostbite 3 engine. Both Dragon Age, Inquisition and Mass Effect Andromeda were announced to be based on the Frostbite 3 engine, as part of the general move towards a unified technology foundation across all of Electronic Arts development studios. Subsidiaries <inaudible> 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 Topic. Current BioWare Austin in Austin, Texas, formed in March 2006 specifically to develop Star Wars – The Old Republic with assistance from BioWare Edmonton, BioWare Austin later began working on a new IP called Shadow Realms, but production was shelved in February 2015 in order to focus on the continuing production of Dragon Age, Inquisition and The Old Republic. Topic Former Bioware Montreal in Montreal, Quebec, formed in March 2009 to assist the Edmonton studio where necessary. Led the development of DLC for the Mass Effect series as well as Mass Effect, Andromeda. Bioware Montreal was merged with EA's Motive Studios in August 2017. BioWare San Francisco in San Francisco, California, founded as EA 2D and developed Mirror's Edge 2D and Dragon Age Legends, became part of BioWare, but was closed in February 2013. BioWare Mythic in Fairfax, Virginia, formerly known as Mythic Entertainment, until June 2009, re-renamed to Mythic Entertainment in November 2012 and closed completely in 2014. Victory Games, founded in February 2011 as BioWare Victory to develop the 2013 Command and Conquer, it had since dropped the BioWare label in November 2012 but remained part of the BioWare group. 
The studio dissolved in October 2013. Waston Games, the developer of Dawn Gate, which was cancelled in November 2014. BioWare Sacramento in Sacramento, California, founded as Click Nation 2008, acquired and renamed BioWare Sacramento in 2011, and renamed AIR Capital Games in 2014. Topic: <laughs> Games developed. Topic: <laughs> Awards and recognition. The full list of awards can be found on their website. Spike TV's 2010 Video Game Awards Studio of the Year 2010. Hall of Fame induction 2010 in addition to numerous game awards in October 2008 the company was named one of Alberta's top employers by MediaCorp Canada Inc which was announced by the Calgary Herald and the Edmonton Journal BioWare's co-founders Ray Muzyka and Greg Zeshuk were named as members of the Order of Canada in December 2018 for their revolutionary contributions to the video game industry as a developer and co-founder of an internationally renowned studio.